Hi, welcome to this episode of my Viewboard Whiteboard tutorial. Today we will be talking about pens. When you're learning or teaching, pens is the most important tool of all. In my Viewboard, not only we offer you one type of pen, but we offer you seven different types of pens. The question is, how do I access all these type of pens? Now, when in my viewboard, if you want to go into the advanced options of a function, all you have to do is to click it again once you select, select it. So let's start with our first pen of the seven pens. The first pen is the marker. The marker is for you to write your notes, to you, for you to circle your notes, for you to teach. So this pen is the most commonly used pen. You can write down this is good. You can write down three times four equals to 12, so on and so forth. So this marker pen is for you to write. Now, the second type of pen right here is called a brush. It gives, it looks like the, it looks like the marker, but it gives you a little bit of a more artistic touch. Now, in every type of the, of the pens, now you can, there are two things you can adjust, uh, which are the two bars right here. The first bar is for you to adjust the thick thickness of the pens. The second one here is for you to adjust the transparency of the pens. Now, so in brush, you can change your thickness to give, to give it a more artistic touch. Now in our third pen right here is the highlighter. I will introduce the third pen and the fourth pen together with the Wikipedia page. The third pen is called a highlighter. As we all know, it highlights the important information of your teaching material like this. However, if there are too many strokes of the highlighter, the, teach, the students might not know where you're going or where the important thing is. So in, instead of using the highlighter, you can use what we call the laser pen right here. The laser pen here, it looks like a highlighter, but look what happens next. When I, when I give in my next stroke, the last stroke disappears. So the students can follow you, uh, follow your laser pen to see where you're going and where the important details are when you're introducing them. So that is the laser pen. Now there might be a question of the highlighter as to, are there more colors that I can choose from other than this five? The answer is yes. Right here, you might not see other colors that you can choose from, but you can make your own highlighter. To do that, go back to marker and then select a color of your preference, maybe from the color board right here. For example, I want this color. And then all I have to do is to, to scale up my thickness and to lower my transparency and voila, there goes my highlighter of a different color. So this is how you make a highlighter from a, for a different color. The fifth pen is called the AI pen. This pen is for teachers who cannot draw like me. For example, if I want to draw a fish, all I have to do is to draw something like this. And there we go. The, my view board already knows that I want to draw a fish. And it gives me all these cute clip arts that I can use. And all I have to do is to double click on it and it gives me the fish right there. Now, uh, if you want the actual fish, what do you do? All you have to do is to right click on the little icon right here and it leads you straight to Google image search. And then you can, of all these fish, you can drag one and there goes your picture from Google image search. So all these clip arts and picture, they all come from AI pen. So AI pen is actually a really powerful tool to, to, bring, to bring some little cute icons or even pictures onto your canvas. The sixth pen is called the shape pen. It allows you to draw a line of shapes of your choice for your students. You can draw a line of hearts. You can draw a line of rockets for your students. It's very, very interesting. Now, the seventh type of pen is called the magic line pen. This pen is very, very helpful. You can upload an image and then invite your students to scratch it off and to find whatever is underneath it. 
So a lot of the teachers actually make treasure maps, make puzzles, uh, make a lot of interesting uh, interactive games for their students to scratch off and find the hints. Another application of the magic line pen is to cover your answer up. For example, say if my answer is 22 right here. Now, I want to cover this answer up with magic line pen. Uh, we offer a series of mosaic patterns that you can use and then you can use this pattern to cover up the answer. Now, all you have to do is to invite your students to the stage and erase the pen. It's, it, kind of, it kind of feels like you're scratching it off. So you're scratching it off to see to reveal the answer beneath it. Ah, two, 22, so that's the answer. So you can see that magic line pen is very, very interesting. Now, you might be wondering, how do I upload images for shape pen or magic line pen? you can go into myviewboard.com and then in follow me on the left side you can see magic line pen and shape pen click on that and you can upload your image in there and then when you log in again all the pictures you've uploaded will be there for you to use so in this episode we talked about the seven different type of pens in our next episode we will be talking about shapes and text boxes Stay tuned and I'll see you in our next episode. Bye-bye.